Batch take-up is used when you want to print a lot of labels to be used at a later time. Using batch take-up or rewind prevents the labels from exiting the printer through the front door, winding them on the take-up hub instead. Start by opening the front door and media cover. Turn the printhead lift lever counter or anti-clockwise to raise the printhead. If this is the first time media has been loaded into the printer, there will not be a media core on the supply hub. If there is an empty core on the hub, remove it. If the printer was previously used for batch take-up, you will not need to perform this step and the following step. Loosen the single screw that holds the guide plate at the rear of the media compartment. Remove the tear bar from the print unit and replace it with the guide plate. When done, you may want to attach the tear bar at the rear of the printer so that it isn't lost. If you're using a media roll with a 76 mm 3 inch core, install a 3 inch adapter on the media supply hub before placing the media on the hub. Instructions for installing the adapter can be found in the printer's user's guide, which can be downloaded from the Intermec website. Otherwise, just fit a new roll of media on the supply post and push the roll in as far as it will go. Route the media under the slack absorber and forward toward the print mechanism. The slack absorber can be rotated for better access and then snap locked in the open position. Route the media through the print mechanism and push it in as far as it will go. Pull out approximately 40 centimeters, 15 inches of labels. Route the labels around the guide plate and back under the print mechanism to the take up hub. Wind up some of the media on the take-up hub and secure it with the green clip. Lower the printhead by turning the printhead lift lever clockwise. Adjust the position of the green edge guides so that the media is guided with a minimum of play. Close the media cover. Press the feed button to advance the media and adjust the media feed. This concludes our video on the PX6i printer. Thanks for watching. Look for other support videos on this channel as they become available.